Hello and welcome back to Vanguard, the game that makes me question my sanity. So, since the last video, I know it's been a few days, I'm still working out sort of a schedule with everything, but since the last video, I got the Combat Shotgun Gold. This one's finished, I need three more, and there's only three more released. I don't actually know why they don't have, like, another DLC shotgun out yet. Um, probably coming this season, something, don't know. But... I've started working on the Blixen, uh, as you see here it is level 63. For whatever reason this past like week or two they've had uh, double weapon and double battle pass XP. I didn't actually think I was going to be maxing out the battle pass or really any weapon or getting level 200 this season, but if you see I'm at 198 right now uh, in season level and then I'm about to max out the battle pass. I'm going to get, I'm gonna get another tier skip. I'm going to get another tier skip from getting 200, which will get me, you know, one level. And then I can just grind out the rest because it's still double Battle Pass XP. I've also noticed uh, this game is incredibly, like, it's it's very loud. Uh, I'm just going to turn the volume, like, you know, 5 is the lowest I can go currently. In the other games, you used to actually be able to adjust it and have, like, 0.139. Not anymore, though. Recently though, this game is just, uh, there's a strategy, obviously, to play this game. You just gotta find it. Um, my thing has been playing Tactical Ship House 24-7, which is, I mean, it's alright. And just like that, the match is over. That's, that's pretty much it. Sometimes I'll get, like, Shoot House or whatever, uh, DOS House that port I'll just play that for maybe like 10 minutes or until someone gets a jug at which point the game is basically over and then I leave it takes a while but I gotta say the grind is definitely not as hard um, I feel like the weapons are a little bit easier to level up I'm not sure what it is but like across three days of playing I've gotten nearly 70 levels for the blicks and it's like I feel like there's a difference there because you could play, you know, Modern Warfare for three days, do as good as I did here on there, and only get, like, 30 levels. It was a little bit lower of a cap, you know, 50 instead of 70. But still, it's weird. Now I'm just working on the other shotguns. Um, I have some good levels on the double barrel and the iron horn, and then Gracie just has a couple blueprints. The big thing though, I've been looking at like some of these various weapon levels and you know the assault rifle is kind of low. I got the NZ to 20 from playing Warzone just with the, this little blueprint right here which was the like strongest one that you could get with all the best attachments where it had no recoil and you could just beam someone in a second. And then like the Cooper, I think I played with that a bit. I tried to play with the AS back in like season 3. Um, before I quit again and it didn't work it that gun sucks ass I don't want to do it I'm probably gonna swap it out for the Cooper or something and then the STG of course um, here's the funny thing though you only have to do two melee weapons to get diamond melee weapons I don't have to do the riot shield so I'm not gonna after I did the riot shield in modern warfare I had to like actually I couldn't boot up Modern Warfare for a week without being angry immediately. Not even, I hadn't even touched like the play button and I was just mad. I can just do the katana instead, be done with it. Also yes, if you're wondering, I've swapped around the enemy colors. Uh, enemies are now bright pink because it's easier to see them. Maybe not in hardcore where they don't have the little name tag or the marker above their head, but I feel like it's just easier. I don't know. I was thinking of leveling up the Vargo. I don't know. It's. I feel like it's gonna get nerfed and it's really not that good unless you have super good attachments already which there are some people who yeah all they do is play this game so they have the max level and gold in like four hours of it releasing. I tried that once it did not work well. Um, I tried that with the I think it was the crossbow. Yeah it didn't it didn't go well. Um, or it was the nail gun. I had like 
run those weapons in Cold War on Nuketown 6v6 Hardcore 24-7, you know, just the spam playlist. I got them to maybe level 10 each. Uh, I don't know how people managed to get them gold by the time I had already unlocked them. Like, the moment that the crossbow came out, like 10 a.m. my time that day that it came out, I was already grinding the challenges and already getting it. People already had it gold by like two hours later. I don't understand that. Ryan said people are going to grind this game very hard and they're probably going to do the same thing for DMZ and Modern Warfare 2. But like, where do people find the time to do all of that? You know, like, I consider myself, I work at a pretty good pace. But even then, I'm getting just washed out by these random people who, okay, now they have go like five hours after the gun comes out, it's gold. And they do it for every other gun too. I, my big thing is I hope, hope so much that DMZ does not turn out to be like Warzone where there's like 70 levels for each weapon and to be able to use those weapons and customize them the way you want Instead of, say, finding attachments on the ground like you might in Tarkov, which is, you know, if you don't know yet, DMZ is a clone of Tarkov. I feel like it, they, it better not do the thing where you gotta level it up to 70 and then be able to put attachments on it for DMZ. I want to be able to have, you know, everyone starts out with like a 1911 or something. No, no weapon levels, no... I mean, maybe camos, you know, obviously if you get the mastery camo, you might want to use it in DMZ, whatever. Um, no, no attachment levels though, no leveling up in DMZ, no none of that. Just get like a basic pistol, start out, loot some warehouse or something, pick up like a UMP, and then just work your way up through guns, getting better and better shit, and better armor. No weapon levels, no purchasing, you know, little points for a shop where you can buy armor. I hope it's balanced, but I really feel like it's not going to be. Just knowing the game's interest, if it sells well enough, they might scrap an idea for like, oh, let's have pay to win, you know, you can buy shop tokens for COD points, and then obviously COD points for money, and these shop tokens will give you, you know, fucking armor upgrade token or whatever. I'm basically just making their game for them at this point. These kinds of ideas, like, it's the shit that really works with, like, Clash of Clans, which is <laughs> super successful. If they do something like that, it will probably fail, and I'm not gonna wanna play it. Because that was the thing, too, with these past few games. They'll release, like, some bundle the day a new weapon comes out, and it has, like, all the best attachments, and also it glows pink. So you want to buy it, and then it's super good, and then you don't have to level it up in Warzone, or it's super easy to level up because it already has God-tier attachments. You know, I'm looking at, like, the Dragon Krig from last year, that stupid, I forgot what it was called, like, Ice Dragon or something, and it, it glowed blue, and it was also super strong and built for long ranges, which was what the Krig was for then. That's the type of thing I don't want to see. And I get it, it's a business, you know, they have to make money, but they're charging 70 bucks for the base game now. They used to charge 60. Thanks to inflation, we have, you know, 70 now. I'm not looking forward to that, you know. I feel like 60 was already too much for Cold War. 70 was way too much for this game. They gotta get their money back, but I feel like you know, microtransactions plus an expensive base game is not the way to do it. Expect Titanium Trials to be the next video I make. 